Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. Today I want to talk about AS200 visor. I just want to share some of my observations with, uh, with you regarding this uh, visor. I suggest you watch the whole video before you make a decision that you want to put the AS200 visor. The AS200 visor that uh, we put on the Dominar usually, there are issues with it. Let me flip the camera, point it out to you. So for starters, this visor is not supposed to be curved like the way it is right now. So by default, it's trying to attain its manufacturing shape. And while doing that, if you look closely, there's an opening and a gap that's come here. And there's a gap that's come here. That allows for a lot of water to enter and uh, thereby giving you issues with flickering lamps etc this is the knuckle cards that I have put well they are just more of a cosmetic uh, kind of a thing they don't really help except for nudges that you might get from the side otherwise it's really flimsy I suggest guys if you are actually getting knuckle cards see that you get the ones that have a metal frame in the center which runs through the center of the knuckle guard and attaches to your handlebar also, the very first day that I installed uh, the visor, the AS200 visor, I, after about a couple of hours, I'm riding the bike, I think with the vibrations, uh, the bolt that holds the visor into the fairing of the headlamp kind of got yanked out because we have kind of pushed it into shape, right? Apart from that, there is also this that I'm going to show you next. Well, it's not an issue. It's just something that I feel it's an observation. It may be normal or maybe I just need to get used to it. Watch. So this visor that I put and you can see has uh, absolutely reduce the uh, wind buffeting that happens but uh, it's diverted a lot of wind to my helmet so there's this weird kind of uh, shaky blast that I get I'm not sure that if it was always there and did not uh, really realize it because uh, most of the wind was, you know, diverted to the upper body. And now that it's only on my helmet, I'm noticing it. I will probably ride another Dominar without the visor and get a feel of it. So I hope this video was uh, helpful and provided some insight to you uh, regarding the AS200 visor that we so uh, kind of, uh, you know, force it on to the sides and, and screw it in there. So when I have the time, I'm going to try and uh, rectify this issue. It's not, well, and let me, uh, let me put it, make it clear that it's not really an issue, but it's something that kind of bothers me. Uh, there are two gaps on the end that have formed and uh, water enters there especially in the rainy season and when you wash your bike and that causes the headlight to flicker and all these issues start creeping up. I'm looking for a solution to this and once I find a solution to this I'm going to make another video and share it with you guys and if any of you guys have a solution to this or have a better idea or a better way of fixing this visor please do let me know in the comment section and please share. Thank you for watching guys. Bye-bye.